Will home robots that do all your cooking and all your cleaning be tiny or huge by 2030? At the end of this video, I predict how huge home robots will be on a scale of 1 to 10. Tony Reed, boss of Alexa at Amazon, is one of those leading businesses going all out to help you, me and Jess and Will cook and clean without lifting a finger. I really want this to happen. I don't like filling the dishwasher and don't have hours to spend cooking. From my investigations, I was surprised to find a humanoid robot really could be doing all of it by 2030. See if you agree with my assessment of the technology company's what's to love and jobs. Is what's needed technologically going to be solved or unsolved? For cooking, it may be solved by 2030. Today, Jess and Will prepare ingredients and make the food. For them to hand over the cooking to Alexa, Tony needs a lot of complex technologies to work well together. To move like this Atlas robot requires highly specialist robotic limbs and motors. To have human expressions like Sophia requires artificial intelligence to produce realistic expressions. This cooking request requires all the voice recognition technology that Alexa already has today. Alexa, can you cook spaghetti bolognese for the two of us? Sure, it will be ready in 30 minutes. To start the cooking, the Alexa robot needs to know what is needed, where it is stored and where to place it. Not easy at all. Adding the spaghetti to the pan and opening the bottle of sauce needs finely tuned fingers that move like a human's like this robot from Moly Robotics. To whisk, chop, add onions and other ingredients and serve the food looks so easy here, but it isn't. The robot needs phenomenal amounts of AI and robotics. The technologies needed for cleaning may be solved by 2030. Today, Will vacuums but doesn't like doing it. What technologies can Tony harness to do all the cleaning for him? I'm now going to start cleaning the house. For Alexa to go upstairs, the artificial intelligence needed for the robotics legs is already here today, as you can see. It's the fine detail of mundane tasks that are difficult. Here, Hello Robot is having to solve which parts to clean and how hard to push down on the surface. And here it has to know what height to move its arm to. Alexa vacuums, changes the sheets and does the laundry. I have finished the cleaning for the day. The technical challenges of being human by 2030 will be solved. For Tony to have a humanoid robot requires engineering that, as we see here, Sophia already delivers, including a human-like face and body, facial expressions, hand movements and the ability to wink and turn the head. Miniaturized motors and algorithms drive everything. Overall, what do I predict about the technology by 2030? Because what's needed is only maybe solved by 2030, on this basis I put home robots at the lower end of the scale. To help you think more about your life in 2030, hit the subscribe button now to get my next prediction. You'll find it really helps you get up to speed quickly. If all this magic happens, it's because companies are in the ring taking the daily knocks that come with getting anything new off the ground. To be huge, we're going to find there's already unicorns, startup companies that have a valuation of more than a billion dollars, and big corporates investing masses represented by this elephant. Hanson Robotics is a unicorn in the making. Dave Hanson is the founder and CEO. He is a robotics industry visionary. His obsession with cracking human gestures is making real progress, as seen by how good his Sophia robot is becoming. Boston Dynamics is already a unicorn. It was bought for more than a billion dollars in 2020 by Hyundai, the Korean conglomerate. Boston Dynamics is solving many of robotics' hardest technical challenges. Its Atlas robot already stands upright like a human. Look at all the technology they've bundled inside that thing. Their Spot robot is also amazing. Think how much they've mastered so that it can open the door like this. Hello Robot is small, with only 12 employees listed on LinkedIn, but it's doing vital work. It's led by Aaron Edzinger, an ex-robotics director from Google. His stretch robot is what robot engineers around the world need right now, namely one that they can build algorithms to do basic home tasks with. Big companies are also active, including Amazon, Google and Apple. Tony and Amazon is not the only one that wants to win in the home. Google has Nest and here we see its robotics team building training data for picking objects up. And who knows what Apple are up to. They have Siri and HomeKit, but they never tell anyone anything. If I was Tim Cook, I would be going full throttle after this. Being a blend of hardware and software makes home robots a great fit for them.
These big companies have the technical expertise needed to succeed. Amazon invests in a huge amount of robotics for its warehouses, including these moving shelves, and it knows lots about getting the right items to the home for cooking and cleaning. Google knows about blending hardware and software too with its self-driving car Waymo division and Android phones, and has brilliant AI with its DeepMind division. And with Apple, when it comes to designing an amazing robot, there'll be no one that can do it better. Tony also is in a company where her chairman, Jeff Bezos, gives visible leadership to robotics. Here you see him using robotic arms and looking decidedly happy about it. So what does this all mean for my prediction? Because there is only one unicorn with others still in relatively early days and because it's a mixed picture in relation to the big companies, I predict home robots will be at the smaller end of the scale by 2030. If you want to dig deeper on the predictions and feel more prepared for 2030, book a place at my popular meetup. It's every Tuesday via Zoom. Use the link in the description to sign up. You'll love it and it's free. I've got my shopping bags out because for home robots to be huge, they'll need to be lots for shoppers to absolutely love. They will be huge if they get plenty of five stars and no one stars. Because the robot gives shoppers like Jess and Will extra quality time for friends and family and to themselves, it gets five stars for this. Today Jess doesn't like cooking and especially the time spent peeling potatoes and chopping vegetables. With Tony's home robot, it's all done for Jess and she loves it. She tells her friends that rather than spending the 37 minutes a day that the average American household spends cooking, with the robot she spends less than five minutes a day. Three stars for healthy because whilst the home robot cooks, Jess and will meals that are good for them. A downside for some is that these robots encourage an unhealthy lifestyle with people doing even less activity around the house. Alexa, get me another beer. Sure, coming right up. Two stars for being affordable. Today, Will and Jess don't pay anyone to do the cooking and cleaning. Tony's home robot sells for $10,000 with her making it more affordable by spreading the payments over three years. So it costs $300 per month. For many, this is just too much but for others, they'll pay it. Safety and privacy scores three stars. Today for Will and Jess, hot pans and knives are obvious safety risks. Robots like this one from Roly Robotics are able to safely handle them. And the robots need the technology to say standing up like this Boston Dynamics Atlas robot. And on privacy, Tony has today's Alexa privacy learnings to build upon. But there are many people who will worry about their safety and their privacy. This brings the rating down. Looking at all the things that are for you to love and not love, we're halfway between tiny and huge by 2030. If you're enjoying this, don't miss out on the next prediction. Hit that subscribe button now. Jobs. If home robots are huge, there's going to be lots of jobs hired and fired. Some housekeepers and cleaners will be fired with them inevitably replaced by a home robot available 24-7. On the hired side, there's a staggering 2,500 job openings in Amazon's Alexa and robotics teams at the time of recording. The vacancies are across many job functions, including more than 1,000 in software development, more than 100 in machine learning, finance, marketing, sales and HR. It's well worth looking at LinkedIn if you're interested in getting a job in this sector. Helping you make good career decisions is a big reason why I'm doing this Life in 2030 channel. Jobs in fast growing new sectors like home robots are exciting and more secure than in older sectors. I was fortunate to join the e-commerce sector with eBay in its early days and have benefited ever since. The home robot industry is global. Tony's vacancies are around the world, including Mexico City, Bangalore and Tokyo. Hanson Robotics is headquartered in Hong Kong and Boston Dynamics' owner is in South Korea. You could set up some job alerts for these companies. It's easy to do on LinkedIn and click to have a look at the My Life in 2030 course that I run that is perfect if you want to make smart career moves now by looking ahead. To book a place, see the description below. It's truly life changing. Because there's plenty of hired and fired roles from a jobs point of view, Home Robots is at the huge end of the scale. Now we've covered all four sections, it's time for me to make a prediction. We've seen the technology need is only maybe solved, the big corporates are active, gets an overall three star ratings and new jobs are being hired. This means that on a scale of one to 10, I predict home robots to be at the lower end of the scale by 2030 at a three. To get updates on this prediction, sign up for my predictions newsletter. Click the subscribe button to get our next prediction in a couple of days time and have a look now at this fascinating prediction. I'll see you there.